the ladies in the place with style and grace Allow me to lace these lyrical dishes in your bushes Quack grooves and make moves with all the mommies The back of the club sipping my wet is where you find me The back of the club macking holes, my crew's behind me Hi, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Shoegaze Review. It's your boy Disco. Uh, today we have the acronym uh, Nike Vapor Maxes. Um, this is the white colorway, the light bone. So let's get into it. Here's the box. It's got kind of a glossy Nike. You can see there. Um, it's a white box, super nice box. Feels really good. Um, and it's not like a normal lid box, it's got a separated lid. Um, you go to the size 12 men's. They also have the women's size on there now. Um, and you have the acronym stuff in the corner. But let's get into the shoes. Here you have the Vapor Max. Uh, it looks pretty similar to a normal Vapor Max. I'll show some pictures of a blue pair that I have. But you notice there's a different lacing system. Um, and then there's this matted out parts right here on the midsole. It just gives it kind of a, I guess, different kind of feel. Um, you see, the, usually it would be clear like it is in the front. Um, just a very industrial looking design, I'd say. Um, all the little grip points on the bottom are pretty much all the same um, as the original Air Max. You have, uh, since this is the, Air, the Vapor Max Mach 2, you have the more, uh, you have this more pronounced heel cup with a tiny little swoosh there. Uh, same on the other side. And I didn't know how I felt about the more pronounced cup, but seeing it the way they did it on this collab, I like it a lot. Um, it makes the shoe look a little less empty, which was kind of a complaint that I had about the original, where it looked very very functional but not as stylish um, but style is all over the shoe uh, you have this air, these arrows all over you have the black mud guard um, just a lot of nice attention to detail you have these bolt hits um, the acronym on the back acronym here paper max here um, and you have Vapor Max on the tongue instead of Nike. Um, yeah, just a really nice shoe overall. Uh, on the inside of the heel, you have the acronym X Nike. You have, um, not sure what it says on the inside, let's close out if we can. Alright, so here you have the, here you have both of the, uh, here you have both of the insoles, you have acronym X Nike on both, but then I'm not sure what it says on the inside, but you have a black and white, you have black and white lettering, and you have the sizes on the insole, which is kind of interesting, and nothing on the bottom. Um, it's a pretty functional insole, it's not very cushiony, I guess it's just to kind of mitigate some of the rigidness that you find on an Air Max when you walk around in it. It feels like a very, feels a very industrial, like a very industrial, uh, walk whenever you, uh, it's like you can feel every moment of your, of your step in these little segments and it's I mean it takes a little bit of getting used to once you've worn the pair a bit um it's not as it's not as jarring of an experience and actually it's pretty comfortable um I'd say it's the most comfortable shoe to just stand in I think walking maybe boost is a little better but standing for long periods of time just being on what's essentially an inflatable cushion uh, it's really nice and I definitely would wear these uh, in a situation where I'm standing a lot moving around but not necessarily where I wouldn't necessarily have to be quiet uh, because these do make a lot of noise um, which goes away a little bit with some wear 
but I don't know how these will fare since they have this coating on the outside. Um, one thing, if you look, the coating gets a little raw towards the bottom. I don't know if that's like a factory accident or if that was the intention, but it makes them look kind of worn already, which is cool, I guess. Um, it might mean that all pairs will look the same uh, the whole time instead of having a super clean pair that eventually yellows or gets dirty. But I know it might be an issue getting this through a review site like StockX. Um, I got these off of StockX. I have another pair that I got that was a 15. Um, so I traded those for these. Uh, great shoe. I think I like this colorway the best out of the whole collab. Um, I look forward to seeing the other ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to get them, but if I do, I'll put up videos and I'll compare them to this one and to the original Vapor Max just to see the difference. And uh, that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, I hope the new style wasn't too jarring. I have kind of a different setup at this table, so I didn't do the same uh, tripod angle as before. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think, if you want to see me do any more shoes, and I'll hit you on the next one, peace.